Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a Hocus Pocus spell book. Here are the ones that I have made, and if you guys remember, last year I uploaded a creepy charm update for Halloween, and I showed you guys these two, and I decided to remake them this year, and here are the two ones that I made. This is the one that I show you how to make in the tutorial, and let's get started. So you're only going to need a few supplies, so for the clay you're going to need a dark tan clay, a black color, some silver, any sort of green that you feel comfortable with using. I'm using this Fimo in jade green, I believe it is. You're going to need some translucent and some white clay. You're also going to need some sort of aluminum foil or texturing tool. And it's also going to be really handy for you to have some sort of dotting or needle tool with you. And of course, if you want to make this into a charm, you will need your eye pin or eye screw or a head pin. So those are all of the supplies, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your white clay and you're going to flatten it out. This is going to be the pages part for the book. So now I'm going to take my blade and start cutting out a square for the size that I want. You can just pick whatever size that you'd like. So here is the inside of the book. This is going to be the pages. So all you need to do is texture three of the sides to make them look more like pages. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and run some lines down to create the texture. So now you're going to take your dark tan clay and roll it flat and just measure it out so the pages fit inside of the cover of the book. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your aluminum foil and start rolling it all over the outside of the book. What this is going to do is it's going to give it a leathery type texture. now would be the perfect time to stick in your eye pin, eye screw, or head pin. So what you're going to do is you're kind of going to indent where you're going to put your eyeball. So you want it to be in the middle and right around here is probably just fine. You don't want it to be too big and you don't want it to be too small. For me the eyeball is probably the hardest part of the whole book funny enough. So you're going to take a little bit of that translucent white clay mix. Try to see how much you're going to need. So now you're going to take some green clay or any sort of green clay that you have and place it for the iris. And the pupil on the spell book is actually really, really small. So to make this eyeball look a little bit more realistic, I'm going to try to add some very, very tiny veins. So I'm going to take some red chalk pastels, a paintbrush dipped in water, and try to add the little squiggly veins on there. And that's it for the eyeball. It's kind of really hard to see and I'm really sorry about that. But you're just going to place that into the little spot that you made. So now what you're going to do is you're going to try to create an eyelid. So you're going to take the same color clay that you used for the outside of the book and you're going to create one lap on top and one lap on bottom. So now I'm going to take some silver clay and I'm going to create this sort of clasp part or at least the rounded part around the eyeball for now. So the little clasp has a few like indents I suppose I would call them and you can just go ahead and add those with an exacto knife. So there is that part, and now I'm going to work on the little snake bits. Um, 
right here since those are so tiny I always kind of mess up and add like the stitches first so I'm going to add these little silver snakes first and see how that does a little bit better Now to create this pulling effect that the book has, all you need to do is grab your X-Acto knife and drag lines away from the snake. And then take your darting tool and kind of press it down so it doesn't look like super sharp lines. So now we're going to add the details onto the book. So you will need these five snakes of clay, and then you will need an extra one to add the stitch effect to the little coils of clay that you have rolled out. Now before I go on adding any more details, I'm going to dust the entire book with some chalk pastels. So I'm going to be using these three shades of brown. So now I'm going to be doing this part, the little fingers on the side, and the clasp along with this little hand. So just follow along with what I'm doing and you will have your little spell book finished in no time. Now that this spell look is completely baked, I'm going to add some brown chalk pastels to the cover and to the pages to make it look a little bit more worn. So now that the book is finished, what I'm going to do is I'm going to water down some Sculpey Glaze and glaze the book and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Mod Podge Dimensional Magic and put it on the eye. To the cold. 